largest mature male spot tagged with the first full health assessment workup in North Atlantic history, a 12 and a half foot mature male, and we're gonna name it Hilton. Hilton will help us make sense of all the female tracks and really help the science team prove where and when mating occurs. Hilton, an adult male white shark, was really the first white shark to come to Canada and really use the entire coast of Nova Scotia and specifically spent considerable time in Mahone Bay, the area that we're working in now. Hilton really was the inspiration for our first trip to Canada in 2018. The vast majority of the white sharks in the Northeast Atlantic are using Atlantic Canada. In fact, we see 88% of our sharks going up into Atlantic Canada. And so we wanted to really continue to build in this region. Between 2018 and 2021, we made four trips to Atlantic Canada, helping scientists to tag sample and release 36 white sharks over three different age classes, juvenile, subadult, and adult. These animals have shown a strong tendency to return to Atlantic Canada during their summer fall foraging period. What's going on up there? Why are they going up there? We've seen since around 2010 an increase in sightings. Why in Atlantic Canada? I think there's a combination of multiple factors taking place. We protected seal populations as they did in Cape Cod, so there's an abundance of food available to them and conservation measures has led to these higher numbers of white sharks that we're seeing today. Principally one key point is my home bay is that is a migration corridor up into Atlantic Canada. But we've almost got a, a section of the outer islands of Mahone Bay that, that funnels white sharks up as they come up into Canadian waters and then they disperse throughout Atlantic Canada. And clearly Mahone Bay can provide the food the resources to support that particular apex predator. And you guys can follow all this work for free in real time at osearch.org or at the Global Shark Tracker app.